Today I'm going to show you how you can make your Minecraft texture packs work for 1.20.0 basically. Yeah, um, and basically if you're wondering how to do this for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, you don't need to, it'll automatically work. Anyways, for Java, um, you'll notice that all your packs have gone red inside of Minecraft. That's because you need to update them to the newest version. So to get started, you want to make sure you extract everything, then click on Extract to get right there. And um, now, depending on your OS, you might not actually have that Extract All option. And if you do not, you'll need to install a program called WinRAR or one called 7-Zip, and they'll just allow you to perform that action, yeah? Anyways, you don't need the old pack anymore, and you should now be left with a folder, just like this one over here, and that's going to be the one um, which we are going to edit. So, you're going to open that up, and you should see these two or three things um, right here, and whatever you want to focus on is the pack.mcmeta. Yeah, so I can open that up just like this. I am opening it using um, a program called Notepad++. It's free, you can download it from the Microsoft Store or just online if you want to, or you can open it up with any other text editor you have, however it might not work. If you can't really open it up, one thing you can do is right click on it, go to open with, and then select the program you want to open it up with, just like so. Anyways, um, we want to focus on the pack format right over here. In our case, it is 13. Depending on your pack, this might be a different number. Either way, to update our pack to Minecraft 1.20, what we want to do is change that to 15. Yeah, just make sure it says 15. Doesn't matter what it was before. Now, you do really need to watch out because this is code. And let's say you accidentally delete this comma here your entire pack's not going to work. So you want to be very careful and make sure that you don't accidentally delete something you didn't mean to. Anyways, once you've changed the pack format to 15, you want to press Ctrl S to save it or go over to File and save it from there. Then once you've done that, you can just go back right over here and then you want to select all two or three of these files, just like so. And you want to right click on them and then click on compress to zip file. Now once again, to complete this action, you might need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR. Anyways, I just have this so I can click on compress to zip file and I can call this whatever I want. In this case, it's 64 is um, smaller totem, um, which is a texture pack I made. I make a lot of texture packs. Um, so, you know, I'll link those down in the description. Anyways, um, and this one is going to work for 1.20. So I'm just going to put that in the name right there. That just helps me distinguish it from other versions of the pack I might have. Anyways, I can basically grab that. And this folder, we don't really need it anymore now, so we can just delete it. Um, and now we should be left with this texture pack. Now, you're just going to want to launch Minecraft and um, make sure that you keep the texture pack you just updated in a place you can easily locate it. Here, as you can see, I have Minecraft 1.20 launched, and um, we can click on Options over here and then Resource Packs, and as you can see, all my old packs are red, except for this one, which I already updated, um, and yeah, which um, you don't want that. Anyways, I'm going to drag this one right into here. You can click on Yes, and now if we locate it, as you can see, this pack is in fact not red, and we can enable it right here. Now we can just simply click on done and our pack has been enabled. It's as simple as that. Yeah, if you do still, however, have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.